All mechanics need a good nurse. It's Friday. Feels like a Monday. Cause I'm not mowing grass. We got issues. Big issues. Everything's still in my garage. I'll show you what went on yesterday. This is the issue. Leaf spring. Obviously broken half. Today we're working on the homes, single axle, 3,500 pound leaf spring, okay? This bad boy is a 2011 model and it's never had new leaf strings on it. So, I'm gonna monkey with this one real quick. I've already had the other side done, so I know what I'm doing. All I did was watch a YouTube video, see what needed to be done, and did it. Without the repair community, how would I know exactly how to do this nice, quick, and easy? I wouldn't without trying it. Would have wasted hours as opposed to a six minute video on how to do it. <laughs> it's all about community, guys. I already did the hub in a prior video. You can find that on the, uh, the channel, the hub replacement. And now we're getting down to the leaf springs. You're gonna need to have this set up like that. The axle needs its own jack and jack stand. So does your trailer, okay? Because the trailer frame has to give you a good gap between the axle. So after it's jacked up safely and secured, you gotta get these four bolts off. Most of the time they're gonna be rusty and nasty. Half the time they're gonna break, all right? So, <laughs> Instead of being like me and getting this stuff off and then having to go back to the store for the hardware, just get the hardware when you're there getting the leaf springs. After those are off, take that one off. And then you'll come back here to these two and take those two off. So that is this. And you can see how much play there is right there from the wear definitely replace your hardware that one snapped off not a big deal okay but definitely replace it So, like I was saying, half the time they're gonna break off. And that was 50 50. Half the time they broke off. <laughs> Anyways, that's disconnected. Which means your axle is pretty much free from this. I just gotta dislocate that. And then these two flange bolts. so we got it off all right guys I did miss some footage here the first step is to reattach the leaf spring to the axle using those u-bolts and the four nuts the jack helps you maneuver this piece this one gets tightened up these stay where they can move a little bit. They need that movement.
All right, so pretty sure that's on there correctly because uh, there's no gap here, slight gap here. That can rattle, that can rattle. So if you want these to be able to move, but they gotta be tightened, okay? You saw me smack it with a hammer. This one up here, just have it tight. It'll, it'll maneuver, it's got a bushing inside, okay? Um, the bottom four here, definitely torque these to, I think 75 to 85 pounds, just 80 pounds torque. Uh, I don't have a torque wrench, so use my head my sensitivity and tighten them down all right so throw it all together and look at the final product so we did get an extra leaf spring in here so a little bit more heavy duty and the pieces weren't perfect matching but if you're getting new leaf springs and new everything else with the hardware, it should all match up, all right? No biggie. All right, so video wouldn't be complete unless I showed you the actual trailer in action again. After I finished the project yesterday, it was four o'clock when I left my house to go mow grass. Did I want to do that? Of course not. That's a late start. I had a nasty huge property to take care of but the cost of those pieces were sixty dollars per leaf spring and sixty dollars for all that hardware to replace them i had to go replace that money right yeah of course went and mowed two properties came out 260 dollars which paid for gas and the parts hey we're all here on youtube to help you guys out and save you money teach you the process of life here that we've gone through save yourself money do the stuff yourself don't take it to the mechanic be the backyard mechanic hey y'all be good if you can always be kind and love each other i got a ton of grass to cut today and i'm solo elite landscape style always